Go ahead and remove these lug nuts and get the wheel pulled off. I'm going to go ahead and loosen the jam nut here on the inner tie rod and the outer tie rod unit. Just want to get that loose and that is now loose. Next we're going to go ahead and remove this nut right here. I'm going to go ahead and give the knuckle a few taps right here so we can go ahead and loosen that uh, outer tie rod end. So now what we want to do is count the amount of revolutions it takes to spin the outer tie rod off of the inner tie rod. That way then when we reinstall the new component, we'll thread it back on the same amount of threads so we can get a preliminary setting for an alignment. Let's go ahead and start this. about 10. So you want to go ahead and install the new tie rod end and remember the 10 count to get the old one off it'll be 10 threads on for this one here. So that was 10. We're going to go ahead and just bring that gem nut over. Now we'll go ahead and get this lined up. Got to work that on and get that castle nut started. I'm going to now go ahead and torque down the outer tie rod nut to 47 foot pounds. Now you want to take your carter pin, slide that through, and you can use a pair of pliers or your finger. You go ahead and bend that right on over. Now you can go ahead and snip off any excess. And you want to go ahead and take a look at that jam nut right now. This is something I want to go ahead and tighten. Then I want to go ahead and snug up this jam nut. Make sure that's tight. Once that's snug, the last thing you want to do all right. So once that jam nut is tight, you now want to go ahead and grab a wrench. You just want to make sure that your tie runner is level, it's not twisted one way or the other. Just make it nice and straight, and you're all set. I'm going to go ahead and reinstall the wheel, get that lined up. You want to go ahead and get the lug nuts all started by hand. I'm going to go ahead and snug up these lug nuts. Now I'm going to go ahead and torque the wheels to 79 foot-pounds. I'm going to do this in a crisscross pattern. 